Hello, and welcome to a detailed review of the Baby Doll JSK by Baby the Starshine Bright. In this section, we will be looking at detailed close ups of the lace, bows, shearing, trim, buttons, ribbon, charms, and the print of the dress. This JSK has two straps, each lined with rows of delicate white lace. These straps have elastic in them, so you'll notice quite a bit of ruching throughout, but it gives a nice stretch when worn. The bodice features two ties for around the neck and plenty of additional gorgeous white lace. There is also a corset lacing across the bodice and a lovely pink ribbon. Here we have a full top to bottom pan of the dress so that you can take in all the little details. The back of the dress features half shearing in a simple waist tie set. The shearing panel is quite narrow, but it does offer a decent amount of stretch. Here you can see the waist ties are very simple with no additional details. In this section, we will look at the print artwork details. Here we have some color swatches and the overall imagery and motifs of the dress. While this JSK does not have a print, it has plentiful lovely little details like lace and ribbon. The overall appearance is quite simple, but when you take a closer look, there are lots of details to notice and appreciate. One of my favorite aspects is the light pink ribbon that is actually woven into the lace, giving it a very cute but still elegant appeal. The bottom hem of the dress does feature a very thin and simple lace trim. In this section, we will look at the silhouette options for this dress. I will feature three different looks, one with no petticoat, the second will feature one petticoat, and the third will have two. Here we see the dress with no petticoat. The common Lolita silhouette does usually feature at least one petticoat under a dress, but just for your reference, here it is, completely by itself. Here we have the dress with one A-line shaped petticoat. This is most likely the most common way this dress would be worn. The A-line shape works much better than a cupcake or bell-shaped petticoat would in this case. Here we have the dress with two A-line petticoats. Normally, two A-line petticoats would work very well for this shape and give it plenty of poof. However, with the additional rows of lace at the bottom, I think it constricts the shape a little too much for my taste. This section will hopefully help you understand more of the fit and measurements of this dress. Since I will be modeling the dress, my measurements for reference are bust of 32 inches, waist of 25 inches, and my height is 5 foot 2 inches. The corset lacing and half shearing in the back of the bodice of this dress does allow for a very nice fit, and I believe it would be flattering on many people. The waist, I would say, is a little less forgiving as the corset lacing is more focused on the bust and not so much on the waist. Here you can see just how narrow the half shearing is, and at a height of 5 foot 2 inches, this dress hits me quite below my knees. In this section, we will talk about color matching. 
What color blouse would you need with this dress? White, ivory, or would either work? Here is the dress compared to an ivory purse, and you can see the bright white of the lace does clash quite harshly with the ivory. I would stick to white accessories and blouses. In this section, I will show miscellaneous items about the dress, certain specifications like the fabric weight, pockets, the inner layers of the dress, and a full look at the print. This dress has a nice medium weight fabric, which would be ideal for pretty much any time of the year. This dress unfortunately does not have pockets on either of the seams, so make sure you intend to pack a larger purse for your day out. The dress has two layers, an inner lining, and an outer shell with all of the lace and details. Here I will include some recommended styling for this dress. The first look I've put together I will call cute and casual. I've styled this look with a large pink head bow, a short sleeve white blouse, simple rings and white wrist cuffs, an usakumia purse, some white ankle socks, and some pink angelic pretty tea party shoes. The second look I've styled with this dress is sweet and old school. I've styled this look with a classic pink ribbon headdress, a long sleeve white blouse, additional rings, a white Baby the Starshine bright heart purse, white under the knee socks, and white angelic pretty heels. The next cord I've styled with this dress is sweet and fancy. I've styled this look with a red beret and plenty of hair accessories, a short sleeve white blouse with a pink cardigan, plenty of rings, a pink and red strawberry purse from Swimmer, white and red berry tights, and some pink angelic pretty party heels. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more Lolita content, or check out one of my other videos shown below. See you next time!